Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. And today is Friday, July 17th, and we have 167 days left. 167 days left in the game of life, the 2020 edition. So let's win, 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 okay? Today is World Emoji Day. So when you hop on here, when you tell us good morning and where you're from, please put in one of your favorite, most favorite emojis. And if you're watching on replay, please give us a favorite emoji too. Today is World Emoji Day. Good morning, Belinda and Ron and Tracy. Good morning. Good morning, Alice. How's everybody doing this morning? Good morning, Charlene. Um, so TGIF. Today is Friday. We are going into the weekend. Good morning, Jen from Maryville, Tennessee. Good morning, Lana and Tracy and Jennifer. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming on and joining us this morning for the last Shibby Show of this week. Um, this is the weekend coming up, and then I will see you again on Monday. On Monday. Good morning, Barbie and Polly and Shibby Shop Sherry and Rhonda. I get to see Rhonda tomorrow. Good morning, Belinda. Um, so I get to thank y'all for those emojis. Yeah, I see them popping in now. Good morning, Michelle. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to do the drawing for this week. I didn't have as many shares this week. So um, if y'all want to get into the drawing on Fridays, I need some shares. Oh, good. Also, Marla, that is great news. That is great news. Good morning. I'm glad to hear that. Um, awesome. Thank you, Charlene. <coughs> Good morning, Joan. All right, I'm mixing these babies up. Good morning, Teresa. All right, whose name is this? Diane Rudero. Ruderoe. <laughs> Rudori. <laughs> Rudero. I just having fun saying it now. Um, if you either, uh, Alice, if you share something from the Shibboleth website, or if you share this video um, and tag me so that I can tell that you shared it, you get to go in for the drawing. And um, the drawing for today is a $5 gift certificate from the Shibboleth store. So that is what you are going to get. You will get an email with that information in it. So yay. So thank you to those of you that shared. All the tickets are in there. Normally, though, it's a lot more full. So, I have been forgetting to tell you, but just know that it's going to happen every week. That if I forget to tell you, that you can just start to do it naturally. Um, that I will check. Okay. So, what we want, what I'm going to talk about today, but as we go into this weekend, is that we can be different than other people. We can be different than other people, and we are set apart to be different from other people. Good morning, Amanda. Um, and good morning, Kristen. So, the verse for today, if y'all want to start typing in the verse, Tracy, your prize has been with me and I haven't seen you. And then when I saw you the other night, it wasn't with me. So, um, the share starts immediately, right now. The share starts again right now for next week. I thought it was Rurody. Yeah, yeah, Diane, thank you. I love the way that you spelled that out. That's awesome. Good morning, Colleen. Yeah, Tracy, I have your prize and I have Rhonda uh, Delaney's prize with me because I see y'all in class. All right. Romans 13, 14. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Thank you, Lavelle. Um, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Well, you know, I have gratified my flesh's desires many times over the years without thinking, without taking into the fact that this is the Lord's temple and all of that. So, so I just want to put that out there, that verse for us, because if you need to think of 
denying yourself something that is not on a perfect day, then you just need to see that as an act of worship. It is an act of worship. You can do that. You can do that act of worship. But as we go into the weekend where we may be tempted to do different things with different friends or different people, I wanted to talk about what an outlier is. An outlier. So uh, if you're mathematical, you kind of know what an outlier is, but it doesn't have to be uh, in the mathematical sense. Um, yay, Michelle. I know it's awesome. Thank you. Um, but an outlier is a noun, and there's two definitions in this book. This book is by Malcolm Gladwell. It's called Outliers, and it's the story of success. And number one, it says something that is situated away from or classed differently from a main or related body. And then number two, this will be the mathematical one, a statistical observation that is markedly different in value from the others of that sample. Okay, so we are we are people who have decided that we wanted to make a difference in the way that we eat so that we could make a difference for our family. And you know what? We might end up being an outlier. You might be that person that doesn't eat the chips at the Mexican restaurant. Um, you might be the person that wants exercise on the plate. So be that outlier. Be that person that is set apart from the main uh, group or the main body. Um, so this whole book is about outliers and people um, who have gone before us and who are outliers in this world. But uh, they had an uh, they had a conversation with the author, and and somebody asked him what is an outlier. So just to kind of give you an idea of what an outlier is in his description, and then I want you to be thinking about how that might apply to you, and then your application of uh, Shibboleth. So an outlier is a scientific term to describe things or phenomena that lie outside the normal experience. So have you ever seen uh, this person did this, but normal experiences are this. That person that did the extraordinary is the outlier. And do you know what Shibboleth, the, the parent name of Shibboleth is? Uncommon paths. Uncommon, an uncommon person is a person who sees that they need to make a change and they actually do it. They actually do it. So in my mind, that's also an outlier, okay? Somebody who's willing to do things uh, at a higher level uh, more often, more consistently, more persistently than the other uh, people around them. So in the summer in Paris, we expect most days to be somewhere between warm and very hot. But imagine if you had a day in the middle of August when the temperature fell below freezing. That day would be an outlier. And while we have a very good understanding of why summer days in Paris are warm or hot, we know a good deal less about why a summer day in Paris might be freezing cold. In this book, I'm interested in people who are outliers, in men and women for who, for one reason or another, are so accomplished and so extraordinary and so outside of ordinary experience that they are as puzzling to the rest of us as a cold day in August. And that's what I want us to be. I want us to be a cold day in August. A cold day in August, puzzling to other people as to how and why we are willing to do what we're willing to do for our health, um, because weight loss is really not just about losing weight. It's really mainly about health, and uh, because when you lose weight, you physically feel better, you mentally feel better, and all the other uh, functions of your body work better, too. So let's be a cold day in August in Paris. Hey, everybody. Thanks for jumping on here. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing and tagging me. That's awesome. Good morning, Robin and Sandra. Good morning, Bob and Angela. Hey there, good morning. Okay, well, we're going into the weekend and it does start sharing time. The other time that you, the other things that you could share, if you went to the Shibboleth website, actually, if you go into the tutorial library in the video library, I have, uh, I have a video on how to share from the Shibboleth website. 
So you can watch that video, and then you'll know different things that you can share and how to look for the share button from inside the Shibboleth website. So I love for you to share from the Shibboleth website, but you can also share this right here. Uh, yes, Polly. Polly's why is her health, is her health. That is, that is excellent. Well, let's all type in, I'm going to be a cold day in summer. I'm going to be a cold day in summer. That's just going to show that you are going to be an uncommon person. You're going to be an outlier. You are going to do the extraordinary. And uh, Shibboleth does provide all the tools that you need. You just have to apply them. Uh, those of you that haven't been watching live, if you watch on replay, just know I've been missing you. And uh, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. Good morning, Kimberly. Uh, yes, Rhonda is going to be a cold day in summer, and so is Michelle. That is awesome. A cold day in summer. We wonder, huh, they got something special going on right there. Awesome. Good morning, Hannah and Lana. Thank y'all for typing that in. Thank you. Good morning, Alice. Thank you. All right. Yes, that's true, Kimberly. I love it. I love it. Add that fire on there. Um, awesome. Okay, well, I'm hopping off. Y'all have a great weekend. Uh, Tracy, I will get you your, your prize. Um, and I'm not going to be there in the morning. Julie is. So it still may be Monday night, Tracy. And then Rhonda, I have your prize as well. You and uh, Tracy have the same prize. Okay, y'all have a great weekend. I'll see you later. Bye.